Kajiado County, located in southern Kenya, well known for its pastoral activities, is under siege. Faced by the rapid spread of the invasive Ipomea weed, known as Oiltia melete in the Ma dialect. According to what the communities are telling us, they used to see it, some uh, Wazis were telling us that they have seen it like 30, 40 years back, mm -hmm. but not in this magnitude. That's a since its discovery in 1997, locals are distressed by the continual decline in their predominant source of livelihood, pastoralism. This plant is one of the threats to this ecosystem because it actually uh, clears the increasing resources. These are the forages, the pastures that this community is relying on. Remember that these are pastoral community where livestock is one of their key livelihood, of course, activity. So them losing that grazing land, the quality forage resources, the quality grasses that uh, they depend on is a big problem to their livelihoods. And of course, that affects their food and nutrition security as, as well. On the 1st of June 2024, during the Madaraka Day celebrations, the Kajiado County Governor Joseph Lenku launched the Aipomea uprooting exercise to be practiced by farmers across the land. Despite this proving to be the only effective method of control to date, it is accompanied by its own limitations. <laughs> Sasa tukajaribu kuangalia tunaweza shindwa na hiyo juu. Sasa hii mali yote. Sasa huko mtukalia ukijaribu kuangalia simejaa. Sasa utatoa siku ngapi? Ikikuwa sasa kubwa hawezi kumwa lakini utakata na na itarudi tu kutoka. Approaching the weed is only temporarily beneficial. If not done before seed production, the weed would still grow once the rains fall. This is because its seed bank is highly adaptable to harsh conditions and outperforms the traditional grass and indigenous crops. It forms very thick thickets and then animals hide in there like mm. hyenas and those attack their livestock. Mm. So not only that they are losing the, the food, the feed, but also now the wild animals are becoming a problem. <laughs> To add to this, the weed cannot be fed on by livestock, rendering the land useless. With regard to this, you find that uh, pastoral is, is keeping so many animals mm. within a very small areas, mm. uh, small area uh, area of land, and at the same time, he has gone even he has even gone ahead to improve this uh, these animals. So he, we are talking here. We are talking about improved breeds, mm -hmm. which are uh, feeding heavily mm. on the pastures that are not available. Mm -hmm. So this has led to land degradation. This has fueled the collaborative efforts between a team of dedicated researchers from the University of Nairobi, the Kajiado County government and the affected pastoral community in finding sustainable solutions through an ongoing research on the same. We did a survey earlier on in the year and we find that most farmers brought this as the biggest uh, challenge. And as a university we said, let's tackle this challenge together to find a solution. We have been said that we have deployed a child disaster. Mm -hmm. We are looking for the immediate solution. We might also think of the long-term, the long-term solutions, but uh, what we need now is the immediate solution so that we can see how the Omeya can be controlled mm -hmm. and possibly eradicated from the, the uh, landmass in Kajiat. Ipomea's gradual eradication requires a holistic approach, especially in sensitizing the community. For the longest time, there has been a very big disconnect between research extension services and the farmer. We wanted to co-design, co-implement the interventions with the communities. You know what that, do, what that does is that you, we don't need to complete 
the research, mm -hmm. then come back to disseminate or sell the ideas to the community. Mm -hmm. We want to work with them. They evaluate the interventions and actually we are going to use them to identify the intervention that they prefer most. This therefore calls for unity between all stakeholders involved to encourage proper information dissemination and solution implementation. The best way forward we want to come up with management package for this particular plant and of course we want to bring all our professionals into this particular space because we are dealing with a, a biological space, you know, we have the soils, you have the plant, we have the animals and the environment as well. So we want to see people working together, teamwork, uh, because there are also social issues that are coming with it because we are dealing with people who are making social decisions in what they are doing. What does the culture of the Maasai people look like? What do they believe in? How are the cultural practices also contributing to the spread and colonization of this wheat? Could that be an aspect? You know, so I think everybody needs to get on board. Failure to this invasion being addressed would potentially lead to a decline in the community's livelihood in the long run. I want to work, uh, to be able to work with the community to find a solution for them because at the end of the day, uh, they have to uh, sustain their livelihood uh, from livestock as before. Uh, so we want to move the weed uh, away from them. Right now, um, our work is not so much. There's those pastoralists who have already started uh, managing this weed in their own way, and others are learning from them. So the findings we get from this research will just help us to upscale the management of the weed. The outcome of the collaborative research findings in the weeds eradication would be significantly groundbreaking as the community hopes for restoration of their pastures.